Refugees were ready early in the morning, their belongings packed, a feeling of anticipation in the air because they were going to a new facility. All the apostles of God, there was refugee. And finally, God finally blessed them. I am not feeling bad. I am excited, I am good to discover again a new life and to see what will happen in the new camp. For more than five years, this camp on the outskirts of Samos' main town of Vathi has been overrun. Designed for 700 residents, it was home to 9,000. Most were evacuated to the mainland. The new camp is a 15 hectare, $50 million facility. Unlike the old, it has housing for 3,000 people, running hot and cold water, electricity and air conditioning. Fatima Wakinchila brought a stray cat she adopted in the old camp and has quickly made herself at home, singing the praises of the government. But not everyone is thrilled. Thompson Iwoma arrived from Cameroon as an unaccompanied minor and spent two years in a shack at the old camp, but he was close to town. I used to go down to the city, go to the, to the sea to swim, go I mean, see, see people passing, see different people. Thompson says he cannot imagine spending two years on this bare mountaintop, seven kilometers from town. It's a concern shared by Samos volunteers who run informal education programs for refugees and are now setting up a presence near the new camp. While the amenities may um, be improved from the current camp, there's lots of fear about isolation, um, also about the possibility of people being detained, especially with reject rejections and things. Um, so those are some of the main concerns. Um, also, with people being able to access basic services on Samos, we've been very lucky up until now that the camp has been in the main town. This reception centre is the first of five the European Union is building on East Aegean Islands at a cost of about $220 million. Together, they will hold 13,500 people. The idea is to give asylum seekers humane living conditions while their cases are being judged and put an end to the images of squalor and disorganization that have embarrassed Europe. But the price of that is isolation. Greece's Aegean islands are being used as clearing houses for asylum applicants. Here, efficiency is the government's priority, not integration. The old shanty town of salvaged wood and tarpaulin will be bulldozed, its land given to the people of Vathi. But babies were born here and children came of age. It remains to be seen how life will carry on in the new camps. John Saropoulos, Al Jazeera, Samos.